could have, could of, which is correct, and what's the difference? I'll give you a hint. It may not be what you think. So, if you want to learn English grammar, stay tuned. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Liam, and this is Grammar Simple, the channel that makes English grammar simple. Today we have a common pronunciation mistake, could have, and could of. But it's all about the abbreviation, could have. All right, let's get started. Okay, could have versus could of. Let's begin. Could is a modal auxiliary verb in English. Could is often used with have, the present perfect tense. To express past possibilities. Okay, watch my video for ways to use could here before you continue with this video because you need to know the grammar and the uses of could to understand this video. So watch that video first. All right, could have versus could of. First of all, could of does not exist. It is not correct ever, period. Got that? Why? Well, the first main idea here is could have may sound like could of, but this is because of the abbreviated sound. Could have, could have, could have, could have, abbreviated, could have. It sounds like could of, right? Yeah. So, for example, where did you you where did you lose your wallet? I could have left it on the bus. This is a past possibility. I could have left it on the bus. Abbreviated, I could have left it on the bus. It's the same, but it sounds like could of. But remember, could of does not exist. So it sounds like could of, but this is only the sound when spoken quickly in the abbreviated way. Don't say, I had a great time at the party. I could have stayed all night. Say instead, I had a great time at the party. I could have stayed all night. Don't say, Dear Miss Thompson, I could have done better on my work project. Say instead, Dear Miss Thompson, I could have done better on my work project. And since you are talking to your boss in this example, Miss Thompson, this is formal. So, don't say, Dear Miss Thompson, I could have done better on my work project. Abbreviation. Say instead, Dear Miss Thompson, I could have done better 
on my work project. Why? Never use contractions when speaking or writing formally. This means in formal situations. Always say, could have. Always write, could have. Because could of does not exist in grammar and the abbreviation could of is only for informal situations. However, when you speak informally, saying could have, like could have, abbreviation is correct. By the way, here's a tip for you. This rule applies to other modal verbs like should, would, may, and might. Formal, should have, would have, may have, might have. Informal, should have, would have, may have, might have. But remember, of, O-F, does not exist. It's just the sound. Always use have. I hope this helps. All right, let me know your questions and comments down in the section below and your ideas for future videos. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel, share this video with a friend, and hit that bell icon if you want to be updated when I release future videos. My name is Liam. This is Grammar Simple, the channel that makes English grammar and pronunciation simple. I will see you in a future video. Bye for now.